to make sure your district can connect with families the way they are used to communicating on their mobile phones? Well, we've got an app for that. Families have a lot going on, so make it easy for them to remember what they need to know in a continuously updated feed of your district's news and events, photo galleries, lunch menus, school calendars, and more. Our mobile app lets you integrate your district and school feeds to consolidate your information from website, RSS feeds, and your Twitter and Facebook channels. Today we will demonstrate just how easy our mobile app is and how you can get started right away. Our guest presenter today is Jeff Windsor, a product specialist here at School Wires. As a product specialist, Jeff is responsible for supporting the School Wires sales team on our product line. Before coming to School Wires, Jeff was a client and served for 10 years as Internet Specialist for the Denton Independent School District in Denton, Texas, and he was responsible for all aspects of the district's website and related training. So without further delay, Jeff, the mic is all yours. Thank you, Deborah, and thank you for the opportunity to speak today uh, about the mobile communication app from School Wires. So let me see if I can get out of this uh, slideshow view here for a second. And we'll open up some uh, information that I think will be helpful to everyone. The mobile communication app is a way for you at your district to basically uh, provide that additional contact to pe for people on the device that they're used to using every day. I know that when I'm sitting on the couch watching TV and have a question about what's going on in my school district, I pull out my iPhone and go directly to their app and I'm able to see that information, whether it's a calendar event or the, the latest news item or, or even a blog entry, that type of thing. So those apps are very familiar to people, their, their ability to get that information very quickly and to keep those people within your district engaged with what's going on uh, around them. Um, even if your website is hosted with another provider, you can still go mobile with school wires. And we can keep that app updated simply with feeds from your website, from Facebook, Twitter, or, or uh, a variety of other methods to get that information there. Let's, let's take a step back and look at the big picture here. Uh, why is a mobile app important for your district? As you may know, 91% of American adults own a cell phone, and over 80% of adults age 25 to 34 own a smartphone, which is what we're talking about here. This is a mobile app for your smartphone available here at the Apple iTunes Store or for the Android platform at the Google Play Store. And, and as we talk about this, uh, let me just encourage you. Uh, you certainly can watch this video. We'll send you a, a link to the, the recording. But I encourage you to go out to one of the stores search for school wires and download any of these apps that you see. I'm sure there's a district near you that's using ours because you can see there's just hundreds of districts who have taken advantage of this ability to share and to engage and to you know re retain those people that are integrally involved with your district through this mobile app. So I encourage you to find one of these, download that, and just kind of play around with it so that you get a sense of how each of these districts might be using it to extend and engage people. Uh, mobile devices are how your parents, families, and community are getting information about your school and, and your district. Um, be sure that you can meet their mobile needs. Uh, there's big, three big reasons why school wires should be your choice for a district mobile app. Number one, school wires is 100% focused on K-12 school districts and the communication. Our teams are locked into the needs and this of the districts and their families. Number two, your we try to keep your technology current. For example, when Apple or Google introduce a new operating system or when SchoolWires enhances our app, your users have the updates pushed to them with no extra work required or fees due from your district. Because you don't want to tax people, you know, the school taxes, and then also make them uh, download and pay for the app. So all of that is part of that subscription where you are able to provide that to them at no additional cost. And then number three, it's important that uh, we help you keep that app updated without any additional work on your part. The key element there is that the mobile app stays updated with RSS feeds from your current website. So 
your your the website that you're using today may not have a tight integration with an app uh, a mobile solution but by using utilizing the RSS feeds and some of the other features that I'm going to show you here in just a minute you can maintain a quality mobile uh, native app experience for your users um, at a very reasonable cost. So once your app is configured, then there's there's no need to update multiple places. You post once, and it's going to show up everywhere. So without further ado, let's go in and let's take a look at the, the application itself. And to showcase that, I'm actually using a little piece of software called Reflector that allows you to see uh, right here on my screen uh, the, a, re a replica representation of my cell phone. And so I'm using an Apple iPhone 6. And you can see that I've downloaded uh, this uh, for Samuel Adams School District. And as I launch that, you know, first of all, uh, we've downloaded this from the App Store. And you'll see the icons of the various schools, whether it's Deer Valley in Arizona, Naperville, uh, District 203 outside of, you know, in the, the Chicago area, Dublin Unified School District in California. Just a lot of those, when they download that to the app, it's going to have your brand. And that's part of the service that you're subscribing to. It's where we can help you uh, make sure that that brand um, adequately reflects your district brand and that it shows up on their, on their phone in that appropriate way. So I've downloaded that app. And so I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And you'll notice right away a little splash screen with more graphical uh, information that, that supports your district. And then it opens to, uh, we call it our home page, but it's a feed-based interface of the most recent information aggregated into this, this home page. So in, in the same way as, as other modern apps, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or uh, you know many of the apps that we see today, we're going to have the most recent information placed on this feed in each one of these little cards. And so as I scroll back through time, I'm able to see the various information that's been presented. So if I scroll back up to the top, you'll see that um, on the, the website for this particular district, uh, there was a recent uh, change. And pulled in from that RSS feed is that uh, you know the, the, the title and a, a little description about that particular article. And then as I type into it, it's going to take the information from the article, and it's going to present it in a um, optimized view for the, the smartphone screen. So as I scroll through here, I'm able to read through this article that was posted on the school district's website and see and have that information right at my fingertips. And as I tap back, it'll take me back to that, that feed base, and I can go on to the next item. So, those I, many many third-party website solutions today provide those RSS feeds, so it allows you to post once on your website and then have that information automatically show up on the smartphone without you having to do any additional work. Because the I, whole idea here is to relieve the burden of you for you of having to m take care of this in multiple places, but still get that information out to your audience. Uh, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. One of the other cool items of the communication app is that we can also pull in content from social elements, whether that be, uh, for example, here, a, a Facebook entry that was made to the school district's uh, Facebook app. Uh, there was a, a, a bake sale this weekend, and so they posted about that, posted the picture, and that's going to show up here as well. And it's the Facebook feed is one of those items that you can configure to have that show up here. Now, again, you have full control over that. So if you choose not to use Facebook or Twitter or any of the other items that we're showing here, you can control the message and how that uh, is aggregated here on this feed. So if I tap into there, it's going to actually take me to that information, and I can see exactly what was posted out on Facebook. Okay, so if I uh, continue to look through the uh, the listing here, when I pulled it back up to that main feed, it also, as you can see at the top, we have the ability to pin a photo gallery. One of the tools that's provided is a way for you to create a slideshow of images 
by simply uploading a, a folder full of pictures and creating this slideshow. And I can use my finger here to swipe back and forth so that people can see uh, up to 10 of those images within that slideshow here on the page. And so that can be created as part of the mobile communication app interface, which is, brings me to the next point. So for example, the second item here, this uh, bi-monthly blood drive, you'll notice is pulled from a headline app. One of the capabilities of the SchoolWire's mobile communications app is that we can provide you with the ability to author content specifically for the mobile app. And this includes things like news and headlines. And as you can see here, I uh, have a, a title, a little uh, descriptive about it, text about it, an accent image. And then when I actually tap into that, I can see the full article. Uh, and this was all created using our management interface. So you can author additional content that could be completely separate from your website if you choose to do that. So I want to be real careful here when I describe how this works. We provide you with a way to have a very compelling website uh, presence on the smartphone by pulling in from RSS feeds or by creating here within our app. So it gives you uh, a wider variety of options for sharing the information that you need. Uh, so if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see this happens to come from the announcements um, app, the ability for you to create an announcement and have that show up. And I'll show these in, in greater detail in a minute. Um, if you choose to use our blog tool, you could have a, a blog uh, article and uh, have that show up here in the feed as well. Here's another news headline. Here's a, a, a post from Twitter. So you have that ability to pull in those social elements. The idea is you want to drive everyone back to your website and to this mobile communications app, regardless of where they might find that information elsewhere, such as Twitter and Facebook. So I could scroll down through here, and you can see back through time that it's a mixture of news headlines, uh, events, things pulled in from Twitter, et cetera, all within this headline. Again, the most recent information is going to scroll to the top so that they see that, that most relevant and recent information right away. But if I wanted to see all of any one of these elements in, in their entirety, then I would select the off canvas menu in the upper left hand corner to see that sidebar where you at the district have the ability to organize that content in a way that makes sense to you. So home is that feed-based interface. The announcements are all of those announcements that you've authored within the, the SchoolWire's mobile communications app. So as I tap into there, rather than seeing a feed of the most recent one, I'm going to see all of them collected here. If I can click in there and be able to read each announcement as I need to. Same way with the district news, a listing of all of those news items listed here on the site. District events pulls from the calendar. Now, you certainly can pull in an RSS feed from your existing calendar, but you can also provide uh, calendar events natively to this mobile communications app using that calendar feature that we have. And so for each one of these, as I were to tap into one of them, it gives me the information to see all of the, the items that would have in there uh, right there with the information that I would need uh, to know more about that event. A blog tool is also included. And then these last three are pulling in content from Facebook, from Twitter, and then via RSS feed from the district website. So it's a clean interface. It allows you the information that you need right at your fingertips and that ability for you to navigate around. And the district really can have as many of those icons there on that left as they want and tie into different parts of their, of their site or third-party content that has that RSS feed. So that's pretty much the, the main interface for the mobile communications app. Let's uh, take a look at some of the management side of that. So as I come in here to the management login, there's a single login for all of the management that you would have here at the, uh, the website. And I pasted in something huge here, so I need to get rid of that. And just uh, sign in with the, uh, the login here. By the way, this is... Uh, all highly secure so that you don't have to worry about uh, unauthorized people accessing and getting into that. 
once I log in, I have the management interface for the mobile communications app. Here, on the, the ability for you to manage that main news feed, that's, that's where we are here in the actions area. And you can see these are the items that are, we're currently pulling information from. So just certainly from the district website, as I clack in, click into this, and you'll see the management interface, the ability to name that whatever you want. If I want to change that to, uh, instead of district website, we just call it main website. I'll click Save, and any changes that I make are going to be instantly updated on the mobile app. So now as I you know, pull down to refresh and I go into that off-canvas menu, uh, I may have to refresh the, the site itself. Let me open that up here, um, double-click on that, and then when I, next time it, it pulls it in and I'll pull off that off-canvas menu, it's now been changed to main website. So you have that, without having to resubmit it to Apple and get it approved, you have the ability to make those quick and easy changes right here on the site. Okay? Let me move my screen a little bit so you can keep seeing that while I do make, make some changes here. So that main in website is pulling content via an RSS feed, and you simply put in the appropriate feed URL for that and display that in the, on the site. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Same way for Twitter or Facebook. So with a particular Facebook feed, I'm being able to uh, pull that in, uh, and we have dedicated connections there out to your Facebook site or out to Twitter, and so I can make those changes as well. But one of the things that really set us apart from any of the other, uh, basically standalone mobile apps that would tie into your existing website, is that ability for us to add. Uh, the, an editing element for m any of these types here. So as I click on an add, I have that option to use the uh, app content that we have built by Schoolwires. And these, these, are, these are called apps, but it's really a content block that allows you to create content. So as I come into that, I have that ability to create an announcement, uh, a blog, the calendar where I can have events show up, headlines and features, basically a news feed, and then that photo gallery app that we mentioned that was pinned at the top where I can upload multiple pictures at once and be able to you know, rearrange those by simply clicking and dragging. So this ability for you to create your own content separate and apart from your website adds additional depth to the mobile communication experience. Now certainly, uh, I could, instead of using Schoolwire's content, I could pull content from another site, like I've shown you here, and that ability to just put in the appropriate URL and have that content pulled in without you having to do any additional work. And that's all part and built into the site. So this is for managing that news feed. For managing the items that will be in that right sidebar, so if I touch here on this sidebar, this is where we manage this area here, I have that ability to add in additional content, just like you did before. It could be a, a link out to a website. So maybe I want to put in a link out to PowerSchool so that mom and dad can log in and get you know, information to there. I would simply put in the URL for PowerSchool and be able to uh, name it PowerSchool up here and put the link out there. So when mom and dad touch on PowerSchool, they'll log in and get grades and attendance and all of the stuff that PowerSchool provides to them. So this gives you virtually unlimited capabilities and possibilities for communicating out so that mom and dad and the community have everything they need to interact on a daily basis with your district. And then, of course, you could always do the link to an RSS feed and simply put in that, that feed there. And finally, we have that ability to change the appearance. So currently, right now, I have the uh, off-canvas in a kind of a blue uh, if I wanted to change all that, I can you know, make those changes here. The lists, for example, we looked at all of the, the news items or that type of thing. If I want to change out colors or background colors, I can customize the appearance of it all right here, and it's instantly changed, so I don't have to resubmit it to Apple or to Google and to get those approvals. Now, all of this is great for that basically consuming information for people to access the information and have that right at their fingertips. But 
we take this to that next level of communicating out to people and letting them know what's happening in their district, we add that ability to send out push notifications from either here, this interface, or even from the app itself, if you log in with the rights to do that. So to, to demonstrate that a little bit, I'm actually going to uh, close out of the app on my phone because for that, that notification to show up. And I'm going to select this uh, mobile notification tool here and be able to let people know that, that something's going on. Uh, for example, let's say uh, school is closed due to weather or whatever information you want people to know right away when they come to that, that, that uh, app. What this will do is it will display a notification banner at the top of every page that they go to. Okay? In addition, I can choose to send out a push notification. So for everyone who has the app installed, their phone will buzz or beep or however they have it configured. So if I want to send this out and let people know, then that's going to be pushed out to them. A banner is going to show up at the top. Ignore that. The banner is going to show up at the top. And it's going to, there's my little uh, pop-up that says school is closed due to weather. And this is going to show up just as every other push notification would happen. So if I were to uh, pull down on my iPhone, I can pull down from the top and you'll be able to see all of the you know, mobile push notifications that I've received right here on my, my device. Uh, Android may have something similar to that. But as I tap into the mobile device, You'll see that banner across the top that shows up regardless of where I go. Uh, so if I go out and see you know, all, you know, the leadership blog entries, for example, I'm still going to get that banner of that most recent information right there across the top. When you're ready to clear that, you simply click on clear, and then you're uh, back to life as we know it. And I can go back to that home page, and that banner is cleared out, and I'm good to go. So it's a great way for you to interact with your, your parents, get that information out to them at, at a very quick and uh, efficient manner in a way that they're used to receiving that information. So when you click on that push notification, it's going to be sent out very quickly. And with that, I think we've covered the basics of the Mobile Communications app. It is a subscription-based service. so. Uh, we, we give you all of the updates throughout the year. We do about four updates to the app. And we handle all of the submission to, to Google and to Apple and uh, to make sure that it's, it passes their inspection. We help you with the, the graphics and the, the submission to the stores and all of the logos and that type of thing. That's all part of that service. So with that, I think I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint here. And we're going to open up for questions. And with that, I'll turn it back to, to Deborah. Wonderful. Thank you, Jeff. So we have um, a few questions that have come in. The first one is, would our district be required by SchoolWire to have apps available for both Apple and Android? Or can we only make our app available to iOS users? You know, that's a great question, and I don't know the answer to that. I would assume that we make it available for both, but we'd have to find out. If you'll be sure and leave your name and email address, we will get that answer to you. Wonderful. The next question is, does this have a web browser integrated, or will links from the sidebar open in Safari? If the, the link... It, it does not have a browser integrated. So whatever your standard browser is, when you access content that requires a web browser to view, then it's going to open up in, in Safari or whatever browser uh, Android uses, Chrome, I assume. Great. We have a couple more here. Um, are there additional fees for any updates? You receive all of the updates throughout the, the time of your contract. It is a subscription, and so any of the multiple updates that we do throughout the year, you'll receive those at no additional cost. To my knowledge, and uh, we have a, a guest here today, uh, Lara Hebert, Hebert, I'm sorry, 
is here, and she can you know, talk a little bit more about the pricing of that. But I don't believe there's any additional fees with, uh, once you're up and running, it's pretty much just an annual fee. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, you're correct. Outside the annual subscription fee, there is no additional recurring cost. The updates are included. Wonderful. Um, another question we have, and folks, this is the last question. So if you have any other questions, please put them in that question box, and I'll ask Laura and Jeff your questions. And I apologize, Laura, I forgot to introduce you. So Laura Heber is our mobile app sales representative. So she is also on the line and happy to answer your questions. So this is kind of a last call for questions. Um, Here's another one. My website does not have RSS feed capabilities. Will I still be able to keep the app updated? You will absolutely be able to keep it updated, but it won't have the benefit of publish once and have it show up on both. So that's why we've provided those that ability for you to create content within the mobile app itself. So. Uh, Without that RSS feed to pull that content over, you may be able to you know, write an article or a news item, simply copy and paste it into our interface and have that news headline or that announcement or blog post show up on the mobile app. But without that RSS feed, it's not going to be an automatic or uh, no additional touch point to have that happen. Great. Those are all the questions we have, Jeff and Laura. So thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We sure appreciate you taking time out of your afternoon to join us. And thank you, Jeff, for the presentation. This was great. Um, if you want to learn more about our mobile communications app, visit our website at the link that you see on the screen right now, and that will give you more information. It also gives a little form if you want to request a demo. Um, more personalized for your district. So go ahead and visit us out there. And again, if you want to further discuss your mobile communication strategy or you come up with another question that you forgot to ask, um, Laura is happy to have you email her. And that's laura.heber at schoolwires.com. And you can connect with her that way. So thank you, everyone. We hope this has been helpful. And have a great afternoon.